worth it. I mean, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, but you know, I was a lot of stripping. I'd rather just burn it all, but you may, you may be able to use a hundred bucks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to Home Depot. I got a different truck, and uh, we're gonna go get some floorboards to start putting the floor on the uh, the trailer. for the tin and the wood and bolts and brackets $92 so we're literally able to pay for most of the bottom half of the trailer with what we took out of it it's pretty good I mean you know it's just a hundred bucks but geez, it works can't hate on that what's up guys so everything's done the trailer is completely stripped, but now what we have to do is we have to make sure uh, that it's not rusted out. They have surface rust mostly everywhere on this trailer. So what I gotta do is I gotta uh, grind all that out and then put a primer on it. So I did a little work already so far. This is what it looked like here when I took everything off. Everything, the whole trailer was like this. Now this mostly is paint. So there's no need to freak out. It's paint. It's not the trailer. So most of this is paint, a little bit of surface rust, no big deal. You can look over here where I did it already. And I still have a little bit more, but this is fine. This will be fine. Uh, once I prime this, it'll be ready to go. Now, like I said, we, you know, we took all the, uh, the copper off aluminum, made some money off of that. I want to try to salvage just about everything in this trailer. This was the lifts on the trailer. They look like they're in pretty bad shape. And they are. So, so I don't know if I'll be able to use them. This one here is all bent. What happened was somebody hit a bump. Uh, went in a ditch or something in the trailer. This was at the bottom of the trailer with this fits right here It fits here and then it jacks the trailer up to level it up whenever you stop somewhere Wherever you decide to stay. So this has all been up What happened was they hit a ditch or something and they bent it at uh, the bottom of the trailer And I was looking at it and I was like man, I might better fix it but I can't fix this one. So I'm gonna use pieces from this one to fix the other two that I do have. That this was okay. That, I can't fix this because it's broke. You see, when they bend it, this is supposed to go over here too. They have one of these that goes over here, goes all the way through. So this broke, so that's no good. It's done. Can't salvage this one, but I can take the pieces off, grind them down, paint them. Now this is a lot of work. Most people, you have to you have to be okay with working if you're going to do this type of work. If you could have stripped down a tiny house, then you better do it right because uh, you know you're going to have a major problem if you don't. If you don't, if you make it too heavy, if you make it too wide, you make it too high, all of that matters. Uh, you know, you might be on the road, the cop pulls you over, that's it. They tow it because it's too high or too wide. It only can be 13.6 or 8.6. Or if it's too heavy. God forbid, it's too heavy. While you're breaking it down the road, it cracks in half, flies everywhere. Some little family going to Disney World is behind you. Bam, tragedy. Everything's, you know, downhill from there for you. Anyway, so you wanna make sure everything's right. But, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm, uh, I'm gonna sandwich all these in with, with uh, two by sixes. I'm gonna have to cut them a little bit. So yeah, I'm doing a lot of work to the trailer and grinding it down and getting all the surface rust off. But the problem is, you know, this was, the, the, the house was actually sitting on top of this. So all the mud and water and everything shoots up as they roll them down the road. Or rain, storms come, whatever, it's just shooting up and this was all rotten out, so this was exposed. And everything was getting under. Now I'm gonna have a piece of tin that runs all the way underneath here on my two by sixes. So that way it won't get exposed. I'm gonna have that caulked. 
I'm gonna have everything sealed. You don't want little animals getting inside there. Nothing's gonna get inside there when I'm finished. So I wanna show you guys how this works. Do a little work right now. This, I wanna finish this and this so I can paint it. So once I paint it, it because I don't want to leave it overnight exposed like that. And the sun's going down, so I have to finish this side. Uh, this ain't, this is not safe, <laughs> ever. So, these things, they hit metal, they shoot off. You know, you can really get hurt. So, if you're gonna use this, you can always keep, keep control of that thing and make sure that you're always in control. Even then, it might shoot away from you. So, you gotta watch out with these things. Most important thing is wearing your safety goggles. Never forget your safety goggles. Trust me. You don't wanna be sorry with that. Like the reason I just remembered is cause something hit me right here. Yeah. That is safe than sorry for sure when it comes to your eyes. have to grind it all the way down to the like extreme metal just take the surface rust off and then make sure it's it's good and you get you a good rust uh, oil base paint primer and then you paint over it now this is what I do know what I do know I've been in the oil field all my life is messing with metal my my grandfather my dad used to build tugboats so we mess with metal all our life. Matter of fact, I'm welding another beam here, welding one here, and cutting that battery, that battery thing off. I'm gonna use the pieces for the battery, the, the pieces for the battery, uh, where the battery sat right there for my extended, I'm gonna extend the little pieces to make the outside stronger. <laughs> Anytime you buy your plywood, you always want to measure to make sure that you save as much as possible. So this is 46 and 3 quarters, which means one 8 foot piece. I can cut that, both of them 46, because it's right at 4 foot. So one 8 foot piece, cut it right in half, I can use two of them. So this actually would take one, two, two and a half. Eight foot pieces, which I have. Six and three quarters. I have a smaller square in there. gonna have some brackets that's holding these all together so that's what's really gonna hold it together not these nails should use about two gallons Maybe more, but I got all I got was two gallons. Kitty catty. She must be hungry. Okay. Alright. Oh, she must spray her if she don't get down. Spray her ready. Line. It's 
stopped. It's ready to spray. These are actually my very good, I love these shorts. I have no clue why I'm wearing my good shorts and then I spilled paint all over them. And these sandals weren't so bad either. But I don't know why I don't have my good shoes on. You know, and my dog's white, I might as well paint him too, huh? Because uh, this is how I end up looking. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix myself, don't not. This isn't healthy for you. Do not try this at home. It burns. But there's no other way to get it off my toes. And it's sticky. It burns a little bit. Do not do this. I'm a professional. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching this episode. Episode two is gonna be exciting. We're putting the floors, putting the, the walls, the roof, all that good stuff. Uh, I just wanted to finish up this episode too. So please subscribe, like it, comment below. If you don't like what I'm doing, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Besides this, I know this is wrong. Do not do this, seriously. So now I gotta clean my gun and all that stuff. So we'll see y'all later. Keep up alive.